May the peace of the risen Christ be with you. You and I might be among the many people who thought or said to themselves, I sure hope things are gonna get back to normal pretty soon. I really don't think it's going to happen. I don't think we can go back. We need to go forward. So rather than saying, I hope things get back to normal, we should be saying, I'm looking forward to the future when things will get better. And I'm going to do my part to help make it happen. After some reflection, it seems to me that most of us want a future where everything is whole, integrated, in right relationship. A future in which we have learned how to respect the earth, air, and water in such a way that it fosters life. All throughout the world, people have had to stay at home. And in doing so, the air has cleared and some have actually seen their cities clearly and without smog for the very first time. We can only be whole if we take care of our common home. We long for a wholeness in which we respect each person as having the same dignity and worth as we do. Black lives matter, brown lives matter, white lives matter. So, so does the life of the young child in his mother's womb. And so does the life of the person who is sick and in the hospital, perhaps on their deathbed. Every life matters. We can only be whole when we care and respect each person with that dignity that God has placed in them. And we want to be whole within ourselves. Enough of this drinking or getting stoned or finding some way to numb ourselves because of the pain and sorrow of life. We can only learn, we can only be whole if we learn how to deal with the sorrow and sufferings which every life experiences so that deep in our hearts, we can always be at peace and live with a joyful heart. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. We really need to ask ourselves, have I tried to live the life that Jesus taught? Or have I found it challenging and given up on trying? Every great athlete and every championship team goes to the last minute of the last quarter. And more often than not, they emerge victorious. What Jesus promises us is that if we too persevere and we do our very best to make things whole in this world and in our lives, no matter what the odds may be, no matter what the perceived outcome might be, we will be victorious and we will experience a life that is whole and complete, joyful and fulfilling without end. Risen Lord, you once watched with your disciples on the road to Emmaus. Sometimes like them, we too feel discouraged and overwhelmed, but you gave them new hope as you recalled for them the great stories of the Bible and how God was with his people to bring them to new life. You opened their hearts. Open our hearts now, help us to see with the eyes of faith that you are always with us on our journey of life. Nourish us with your presence in your word and in the Eucharist, which we really long for, so that we might share with our brothers and sisters with new joy and enthusiasm, your message of wholeness, of life, of truth. Amen. Have a blessed day.